Hey there everybody. Um, I just wanted to make this video talking about something that's not automation and not some stuff that I've talked about recently. Um, I'm a big fan of Notion. I'm a big fan of everything you can do with it and the customizability and templating and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've actually started using Notion recently for bug bounty note taking because I've been trying to take notes and keep track of stuff and stuff like that. So Basically what this video is gonna talk about is I'm gonna show you how I do it, how I take notes with Notion. Um, the caveat here being I'm I'm sure I've said it before on other videos, I've said it before on Twitter and stuff like that, but I'm a big fan of some of the, uh, some of the big elite hackers that are also present on Twitter, one of those being Jason Haddix. Jason Haddix puts out a bug bounty hunters methodology that is second to none. And recently he split it into a recon portion and then a app analysis portion. Um, I will link both of those in the description and you should go watch the talk. I think I'm gonna be linking the most recent one. Hopefully I am, because there's a lot of versions of some of them. Um, but I love them and that's how I approach bug bounties. When I approach it as far as manual hacking and, and diving into stuff, whether it be like doing recon on a program or then the app analysis portion of stuff, I've been using it recently a lot and it really helps. Um, get an understanding of the app and actually hunt instead of just randomly fuzz and doing that kind of an approach. So this is kind of that methodology turned into a notion thing because he mentions in a lot of his talks that he uses Xmind. I've tried Xmind. I don't like it as much, but I love the methodology. So hence take the tool that I like and the methodology that I like uh, from one of the great hackers and we put it together. So again, if you haven't seen the talks, you should watch the talks first down below and then come back and watch this because it all stems from the talks anyway and basically chunks them into Notion bite-sized stuff. So in the beginning here, just titled it Bug Bounties, whatever, a little bug cool. Um, this is just, I, I just pulled some of it out. So it's just the template and doesn't actually have any programs that I was looking at on any of the platforms. Um, but here is just like where all your programs would be listed. So if you see under here on the side here, template programs here, all you could do is just take this and you just duplicate it. And then you would just rename it to the next program. So whether it's like GitHub or Yahoo or whatever it may be, you can just name it and all your programs will show up here. But if you go inside your program, you get the three things, right? So now over here on the side, you can see we're inside the program and you get three things. You get assessment info, you get recon and you get app analysis, okay? So assessment info, we'll just start there. It's super quick and easy. Uh, I put a date in here just because like sometimes I wanna know how long I've been hacking on programs and people ask me or, or you know, you kinda wanna keep track of like, if you like take a break and come back, you wanna know when you were on it. Um, scope can be your domains, IPs, um, like downloadables, you know, URLs, links, whatever it may be, depending on what you're hacking. Again, I normally just have hack on web app stuff, but Part of the recon will be pulling stuff from mobile apps, right? You want to get mobile endpoints too. So the you know URL for the mobile app might be down there, whatever, right? And then credentials, this is for like if you're hacking Airbnb or something like that that has you know users and you want to user accounts or like Pinterest or something like that, you can put all your credentials in here so you just know where they're at. Um, if you don't have a password manager, obviously, this part is uh, questionable. I put it in there. Um, I do also have a password manager for some of my accounts as well, but it's an option, right? Use it as you will. Extra info might be like uh, stuff you can't hack on, um, stuff that the customer is really looking for, or maybe they don't want certain types of bugs. Like that extra info can be like anything, right? It's custom info for all, all the different kinds of stuff, right? So then if we go back to the template program, so now we're in the program. So again, he splits his methodology into recon and app analysis now. So that's how I split the uh, template here. So you go into recon and this is where you can track all of your stuff, right? Because you have your acquisitions, you have ASNs, you have subdomains and you have IP addresses. Um, some people may like just rolling with domains. Some people may just like rolling with IPs. It, it really matters, but there's just a spot to put everything. And then in the bottom here, there's the recon checklist. So if you go look at some of the stuff again, like these are just placeholders. So I, I kind of threw in some little sources for this stuff too. Like this would probably be where he recommends to go get it. 
um, ASNs again like these are the couple of places you can go get it and a tool you can use and then I put a little blurb in here remember like after you get the ASNs like run it so you can find some more domains just so you remember subdomains I put check the checklist and we'll get back to that in a second but then you can just start listing all your subdomains in here and you can split them into like resolvable and don't resolve and passive sources active like whatever you want to do but it's just a space to put them um, and same thing here with IPs, right? You can get IPs from domains, you can get IPs from scopes, from ASNs, from whatever it may be, but it's just some place to put them and you can like match them. You can do whatever you want with it. It's literally just a blank page. Um, and it, my pages look a little bit different. Like these data pages look a little bit different for everything. Cause like it all depends on the target, but then you get to the recon checklist. And this is basically peeled off of these presentation slides, right? So like I said, I basically follow the bug bounty hunting methodology from Jason Haddix to a T like very closely when I'm doing like manual hacking and like just not doing the automation stuff. Why? Because it works for him. It works for a lot of other people. He's super respected by the community. Like why wouldn't like when he lays it out like that, it's super easy and tells you what to do. Like why wouldn't you just do it? Right? So I put it in checklist form. So obviously you can keep track of where you were. If you have to leave in the middle, I leave myself some links to some tools for each thing. So like, you can get the ASN and then you can use like, this is how you would do it. And then you would use a mask to find stuff from it. And when you're done, you just check it off. And this will only be for this program, right? I'm still sitting in just, this checklist is just for this program. So if I go to another program and I, you know, duplicate this for another program, which I'll show, it will generate all new checklists. So you can, you know, you get a check, a recon checklist for each program, right? So I'm going to review the latest acquisitions. I'm getting ASNs and then testing the ASNs. I'm looking at registrant information. I'm doing some like random Google foo stuff, some stuff that he recommended. Um, and then you go for each domain that I find. So this is large scope stuff like seed domains, right? And then for each one, you go to domain specific. So then for each of my seed domains, am I running, you know, the passive stuff, a mass and sub finder with all my available API keys? Am I running GitHub subdomains? Am I brute forcing? And then I'm doing permutations. I love doing permutations with regulator. I think he recommended other tools again so that might be one little tweak that I like doing but um and then some of this stuff is kind of some stuff I added in like it's very easy to just throw in a zone transfer check um recursive searching he mentioned it in his talk for sure especially when he talks about brute forcing directories but why wouldn't you do it for domains as well um recursively brute forcing uh you can just literally takes two seconds to run some of these domains through just like the normal takeovers just in case you never know um and then you're identifying which one are alive using like HTTPX and some top uh, HTTP ports. Um, a different talk that I don't remember, um, he also mentioned that he uses OpenList to just, instead of like screenshotting stuff, he uses a browser extension called OpenList, which I then started using, that you basically just give it a list of URLs and it will just open them all on its own tab. And you can just look at them yourself where you just don't have to worry about the, the screenshotting and everything. Just grab, you know, a couple hundred domains at a time, throw them all on open list. It'll boom, just make a bunch of tabs, look at them all. Um, Cause maybe a bunch of subdomains just redirect to the base domain, right? So like you don't need to do app analysis on, like you don't need to go do app analysis on all of those domains if they all just redirect to the same one, right? So from the like open list and finding a live subdomains and stuff, you should be able to find which subdomains you maybe want to narrow it down or look interesting to you or whatever that you may want to step up and actually do the application analysis on, right? So checklist for that. And then again, in the recon steps, all the, from doing that checklist, all the information you gather will go in there. Then going back to the template program, like we said, the next step would be app analysis because that's the other half of his bug bounty methodology. So for here, uh, I have two things. So here's like an example domain. You would have obviously a bunch of domains. So for every domain you're going to do analysis on, you would have, you know, subdomain one dot example dot com sub two mail dot what, you know, whatever. Um, and when you go into these domains, each domain is going to have some notes that are specific to the app analysis, open ports, web hosting software, frameworks, and libraries, his big six questions that he asked during his app analysis stage, which are huge by the way again if you haven't actually watched it stop watching this video and go watch it because it's heavy hitting and this is all open-ended stuff it's just i just put these headings in there so it just gives me little prompts when i'm writing notes so i know what to look for what to go do right and it's just a note section but again 
each domain under this app analysis section. And if I want to duplicate it, I can just duplicate it again and just make another domain another for each domain. I just duplicate this and I'll have my own notes for each domain and my own checklist for each domain, which again, goes with his slides of app analysis and there's port scanning and finding application stuff. And then some analysis is like, you could try and find CVs and misconfigurations just to, you know, make sure you check the box again. A lot of that low hanging fruit probably won't be there unless you find some like real green space in a brand new domain. But again, like some of these big question stuff, like this isn't just a one step thing. Like you're going to have to go into the application and actually figure out how does the app pass data. But that's one of the checklists and you can put all that in your notes and write it down. And you basically going through this checklist will learn a shitload about the application and it works really nice. And I added a few that like I've found or that I wanted to keep, um, you know, reviewing comments. I'm not sure if he mentions that, but I think I've done it in the past. So it stays in there, but most of this is, you know, his, and again, you can, uh, like if you're not sure this heat mapping thing, when I say check diagram here, like, again, if you're not sure what he's looking for by this, again, I've seen the talk 8,000 times. So this is enough for me. But if not, and you want to check the diagram, like you can put the diagram in your notes. Like you can just put the image in there from his slides and you would be able to know like what he's actually looking for when he's heat mapping. But again, that's, that's up to you. But you would go through this checklist for all the slides. And I have a link to the slides in case, like I said, you need something from the slides. But you'd go through all these checklists, answer all the questions, and put it all in the notes. And... I also added a little thing in app analysis. If you notice this app analysis board, I just literally just notions, basic Kanban. So like here again, like if this was, remember that last step of recon that said like add domains you want to analyze to the analysis board, this is the analysis board. So I can go from that open list with a hundred tabs open of like looking through domains. When I find an interesting one, I just throw it on the board. And then I have this board that'll be full of domains I want to analyze and look at. And I can just move it. Okay, so I'm going to do this one now. So it's going to be in progress when I'm done with it and it's all good. And I have my notes filled out on it. I'll just come back to the board and move it to complete. And I'll know which ones I've completed, which ones are in progress, which ones I haven't done yet, all that kind of stuff. And I can keep track of huge amounts of domains and huge scope and all that kind of stuff very easily um, with that app analysis board. And again, then all I would have to do is go back to app. I'm in my program go to app analysis and here would be all the domains I've analyzed and find stuff on it. I have notes on everything. Same thing. If I'm in the program and I go to recon, like I have all my subdomains, all my IPs and that kind of thing. So if you're not a huge automation person, but you still want to attack like big scope companies and big scope targets, like this is the way I've been doing it uh, to keep track of all the information and keep track of all the stuff. Um, Notion is free. You get a free plan, just a single free plan. It's not a paid thing. There are paid options for businesses and enterprises and stuff like that. Um, but you can do this totally for free. Um, again, the only reason I'm making this video is not to uh, pretend like this methodology is my own. Again, go watch the two videos in the description. But he is a huge XMind user and I am not a huge XMind user. So all this is is me taking his stuff and instead of using xmind to do it i'm just posting it all in notion so that i can understand it in my way um, and if this helps you this is something you guys can do as well and you can pick and choose if you have certain things that you haven't seen on any of these checklists but like oh i get bugs from doing this all the time like i have to add this in great add to the checklist like if there's things you learn and you go see a you know a talk at a conference or online or something like that and someone's doing some certain thing and testing for some certain thing some way great add it to the checklist and you're just growing both the recon and the analysis checklist as you go and then each time that you you know duplicate this template so if i go here and i just duplicate it it'll make a new program for me right uh, like I said it'll just be the same one over and over again so it's not I'm not going to, you know, do it. But again, Notion, anything you want to make, you just click here, duplicate, right? Same thing if you want to go to, like I said, when you're in, uh, oh, there's the duplicate, it showed up, right? So you would then go here and you could rename it like new program, right? But again, now I have a new set of assessment info, a new recon and a new app analysis and everything set up, ready to go, right? So then let's get rid of that. Same thing. So when you're in app analysis here, if I have a new, if I, this is the example domain. So let's say I want another domain. Great. Duplicate it, give it a second and it'll duplicate and you'll have another domain, change it to the new name, you know, and go.
and you're ready to go. And you have a whole new analysis checklist for this example domain, you know, now one, cause it's a duplicate. And whenever you want to delete it, you can just go here, you know, and either delete it or duplicate it again or whatever you want to do. And you'll have it that way. And that way the checklists are always fresh for each one. Each domain has its own checklist. Each program has its own recon checklist, its own note taking section, all that kind of stuff. So that's really all I have. Sorry, I kind of turned into a long video. Um, I hope this helped. Again, I'll say it one more time. If you haven't seen Jason Haddix's bug bounty hunting methodology videos, they'll be down there. Watch them, come back, watch this. It'll make more sense. Uh, good luck hunting guys and uh, peace.